Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Saturday, October 31st, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and this is your latest update on the Keshi Plasma Reactor Experiment. So those of you who have been following my Twitter feed, uh, joining us for the live broadcasts and uh, paying attention to the notes in the description that I've been posting on YouTube, you know that the, uh, the mechanical assembly has been plagued with some, with some mechanical failures lately. And um, <clears throat> the, the way that the plasma reactor balls were printed was rather simplistic. I just had the two surfaces coming together edge to edge and um, it was very difficult to get a good seal on those so under the under the force of the uh, centripetal energy with the ball spinning they would leak and I uh, can't have that so I redesigned the plasma reactors slightly included a rim that has a, uh, a lip on it so that they actually interlock and um, I redesigned the base a little bit. The STL file for this, if you'd like to join me in this nonsense, is posted to Thingiverse. I've shared this design openly now. I think this is probably the last iteration of the, uh, of the plasma reactor chamber design. And um, the, the hole for the motor shaft is now cylindrical, and I have a, a hole in the side which can be tapped for a number 4-40 set screw to hold these things into place. So these should be sturdy enough now to hold up very well. Also, I will not be sputtering copper onto the interior surface of the plasma reactors as I have been doing. Uh, while a number of the Kesh apostles thought it was a neat idea, really, eh, A, it did not hold up as well as I thought it would, and B, it does not precisely conform to the design criteria as originally set out for the design of the plasma reactors. So, with that in mind, I have decided to go ahead and gather the materials necessary. There, I'm, I'm sourcing them locally. I just found some of them this morning, actually, at, a, uh, at an Agway. And um, I'll be gathering up the, the materials that I need to electroplate copper pure copper on the inside walls of the plasma reactor chambers. Uh, I will be electroplating them to a thickness of at least a half a millimeter, maybe up to a millimeter thick, and then I will be going uh, putting them through the caustic nano coating procedure, and that is in precise conformance with the design criteria as, as set out by Marencash for the plasma reactors. I want this replication to be as true to the original design as I possibly can make it so that we can truly determine whether or not this device works or doesn't work. You all know what my predictions are, but uh, again, I'm not going to let that color the authenticity or the effort that I put into making this device and, and replicating, replicating it faithfully. For those of you who have been keeping track, this is now five weeks. Still no GAN. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying my replication attempt at the Keshe Plasma Reactor System. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And peace, everyone.